How to sell digital products on Wix. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to sell ebooks on Wix or any digital product, for example digital wall art or stickers or anything like that. The first thing you want to do once on Wix.com, from here I'll simply tap on online store, then I'm going to select continue. After I've done that, I'm going to select any random template just to go through quickly. So I'll tap on continue with this template. After you have done that, you can customize how the theme look. So you'll be able to select any color that you want your theme to be. Once you have finished done doing that, you're going to tap on save and continue in the bottom left hand corner. After you have done that, you will be led to this page on which you'll be able to add any app that you'd like to be on your website. So you can scroll down and for example, if you plan on selling courses, you could also select that. If you plan on having a live chat, so for example, to assist customers or so on, you could select chat. Once you are finished, you are going to tap on go to dashboard in the bottom left hand corner you to do is go over to the left and menu option and from here I want you to hover over store products then you are going to tap on products after selecting products you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you're going to go over to the top right hand corner right where you see new product and you're going to tap on that then you're going to select digital file after selecting digital file, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And by the way, I'll be selling our, our uploading better yet an ebook for this example. And I got the ebook completely free from pdfdrive.com. So if you are looking for ebooks that you could use for upsell or so on, you can go onto PDF Drive and you'll be able to download these ebooks for completely free. All you have to do is select the ebook that you want. Then you'll be redirected to a page just like this and from here you can choose to either preview the ebook or you could download the ebook. Once you have done that, what I want you to do now on Wix, you'll see the option upload file. You're going to tap on that. Then you'll have four options. So you could upload an image, for example, if you were to sell digital wall art. Or you could select audio file, but for this example, it will be a zip file or the zip file. So I'm doing that right now. You can see that it is loading on. So all I'll have to do now is scroll down and if I would like to add any tags or so on, I could. Then I'm going to tap on add to product. Then I'll simply scroll down and you can see right here, customers will receive links to download their digital products in the thank you page of the checkout, along with an email link that will last for 30 days. After doing that, all you'll have to do now is scroll down and from here you could fill in the name of the PDF or the digital product that you're selling. So I'll do that. I've copied the name. I'm going to go back into Wix and I'll paste the name right here. And after doing that, you'll scroll down and from here you could add the description if you want. So you could describe what type of product and what it is all about. So I'll simply paste the name right there again or in clear right here, a guide, a guide to personal transformation. So you can leave it like that. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you can add the image cover. So you'll see images and videos. So I'll add an image cover real quick tap on add images then I'm going to tap on upload media and I'm going to add something from my computer so I'll tap on upload from computer then let me quickly go into downloads and I'll add this image right here so I'll tap on open and you can see the image has been added so the next thing I want to do now is tap on add to page in the bottom right hand corner image right there. That is the ebook cover. Then you'll scroll down and you'll see additional information section. So from here, you could add more information about your ebook or your digital product. And by scrolling down now, you'll be able to select the price. 
So from here, I can select the price. So let's say, for example, I want to sell the ebook for $25. And also, if you would like to put it on sale, you could simply toggle on on sale right there and you could put it on sale. And from here, you can see the cost of goods so you can estimate your profit. So let's say, for example, it cost me $5 to make and I'm selling it for $25. So you can see they work out the profit. So I'll be making $20 for each item that is sold and that will work out to an 80% profit. Then you'll scroll down and from here you can select if you would like to track inventory and you can see you'll select status in, status in stock. After you are finished, you'll tap on save. Once you have saved it, as you can see right here, just give it a few seconds to load up. The next thing that I would recommend you do any of the preloaded products that are on your site, you can simply select them and then you'll be able to delete them. So you can delete all of these products by simply tapping on the box beside the product. As you can see right here, so you'll simply tap on the box beside each product. Then from there, you'll see more actions at the top. You are going to tap on that. Then you would select delete. Deleting all of the products, you can go back and select home in the top left hand corner. And after selecting home, you'll be redirected to the dashboard. And from here, you could select design site in the top right hand corner. And that will carry you to your website main page. And from here, you'll be able to edit your new Wix website. Once on your main page, you will see how your current website looks. And also on the left hand option, you will see the menu. And by the way, add elements at the top right here at a plus. Whenever you tap on that, you'll be able to add a text, image, button. You'll have numerous options. So that is where you will go if you would like to add a video or anything onto your website. And below it, you will see another option, which is add sections on which you can use the edit sections. And the third option is where you will see pages and menu. So for example, if I were to tap on pages and menu, you will see the pages that are currently on your website and you will also be able to add new page if you want. So you could tap on add new page, but let me show you how the shop page look. So I'll select shop page right here. So you can see how the PDF looks on my website. After selecting shop page, you can see that the page in the background has changed. And by scrolling down, you can see the PDF right here. This is the PDF. And you can also see the price that I had set right there. And if I wanted to make any changes and edit anything, all I had to do was just tap on the section. After you have tapped on the section, you'll see the pencil icon that says quick edit. And you could tap on quick edit. And from there, you'll be able to change anything you want. So if you want to change the title, you can do that and if you would like to change the layout you can also tap on layout and you could do that and if you would like to change the background you could tap on change section background and from there you can choose whether you would like to add an image a color or a video so for this example i will add color so i'm going to tap on color right here as i would like to spice it up with a different color so you can see the different color schemes so let's say, for example, you can see the different colors right here. Let's say, for example, this color. All I'll have to do is tap on the color that I'd like to use. Then you'll tap on Add. And you'll simply tap on Apply. So let me do that again. You can tap on the color. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.